Hi everyone and welcome to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. Today we're going to take a voyage in the reproduction, digital and analog reproduction, of the dark side of the moon. Ready? Let's take a look. Okay, so today we're going to try to analyze and hear the differences of um, analog versions and digital versions of the Pink Floyd album, The Dark Side of the Moon. In particular, we're going to focus on the first minute of the track, Money, which has mm, great dynamics, voice, bass, a little bit of everything, I think. Obviously, you're going to find the tracks in high resolution in the video description which will link you to a site where you can hear them in high res that is 192 kilohertz per 24 bits and obviously here what you're going to listen here i highly suggest to use your earphones high resolution earphones if possible is obviously going to be compressed by youtube as well as um uh, final cut pro so mm, there are going to be some compressions in all the the, the different versions Pre please remember that Okay, so um, let's start with our first version. This is the CD version, which I bought in the end of the 90s. This, I think it should be the um, second repress of the CD version, which obviously is it's exactly the same of the first CD version, which um, usually a lot of people think the first CDs are best because they, they were all 100% sourced from master tapes, plus there wasn't a very harsh mastering and mixing. Uh, all those issues coming from the loud loudness war, which we have now, are not present in this in this typologies of the first CDs. So this should be a faithful uh, version of a 44.1 kilohertz, 16 bits of a CD. Well, let's hear it. Okay, um, let's take a look at the sound wave. And as you can see, we have an abrupt um, cutoff after 20 kilohertz, which obviously we were expecting. I think the, the, the quality is decent, but let's, let's go ahead. Let's try to go to the Super Audio CD. Um, in fact, for the 30th anniversary, this came out, which was a completely new remastering of the original master tapes and remixing. Um, in fact, the, 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 the cover is different. Um, all the packaging is, uh, is rather new, is different from the original version. And obviously this is high resolution. I forgot to mention that all the tracks you're gonna hear have been captured from analog. So even this and this were captured first um, I, I've inserted them in my CD player, high resolution CD player, which were obviously converted in analog, and I captured that sound and I reconverted it in digital with 192 kilohertz by 24 bits um, resolution. This I've been I've done this on every single track, analog and digital. Sorry for saying that afterwards, but 
it's good to know. So turning back to our SA CD, Super Audio CD, um, let's try to hear the differences. Okay, let's take a look at the sound wave. Um, as you can see, quite amazingly, the frequency response isn't that huge, actually. Um, the dynamic range obviously is better, but um, there is kind of a um, cutoff a slightly after the 20,000 hertz, which I wasn't expecting. Maybe because um, there was a limited frequency range from the tapes, from the um, simply from the um, conversion to a digital file. Who knows? I mean, we don't know that. Maybe simply the the microphones they used, most probably, not even reached twenty kilohertz. Maybe in the old days, I don't know. But uh, fair enough. This does not go all all the way up to thirty, forty, or fifty kilohertz. We don't have that. But um. Let's proceed and let's start to go in our um, analog domain. So the first thing we're going to listen to is, again, the 30th anniversary of the vinyl. Together with this was also issued, was also released, a faithful replica of the vinyl edition. Um, great mastering, always from original master tapes. Um, I think this was kept in digital. I'm not sure. Maybe there was digital conversion. I'm not sure. I'll write this under words here. Um, so let's try to let's try to hear this version. Go for it. So let's take a look at the um, uh, the anal analysis of the sound wave, and as you can see, we have a little more frequencies there, maybe some some noise from floor noise. I don't know, uh, it could be, but um, I think that we have a slightly better resolution than what was present in the digital versions. Apart from the sound itself, I'm just talking about the frequency range. That's different. Okay. So at this point, let's proceed and let's try to listen to an original version. Now this was the this is a first repressing of the Dark Side of the Moon. It's not the really first 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 edition which has a blue triangle. You can recognize the original version by a, a full colored blue triangle. This it does not have that, but this was the first repress immediately after the first one. So it's 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 rather faithful. I know the best of the best is the first, but this should be decent since it is 1973, and as I said, it came exactly out after the first pressing. So let's hear it.
Okay, let's take a look at the sound wave. Um, again, I think we have a very similar result to what was the 2003 anniversary edition of the vinyl. Um, I'm not talking of the sound, that's up to you. I will give my judge judgment at the end of this video, but you make your opinion by yourself. And uh, obviously, if you can, try to listen to the original versions, the links I put it under here in the video description. Okay, um, let's proceed in our analog um, path of this album. And this time, we're going to try to analyze the cassette tape, the audio cassette tape. Um, this is a special edition because it's an XDR, an extended dynamic range of this, uh, of this version. It should be pretty good. It also has XHX Pro, so uh, extra headroom. This would, should be a decent um, version of this album. It's here. Okay, so let's take a look at the sound wave. And as we can see, um, this version of the sound wave does have a higher uh, frequency response. Obviously, we're having some um, uh, background noise. The tape hiss does have its influence. Um, as you can see, in fact, there is also this little bump around the 70, hertz, 70 kilohertz in all the versions, which is something part of the original recording. We don't, we don't care about that. Um, but instead, if we take a look at this sound wave, it, there is some differences. I think we have a slightly better frequency response, although that dynamic range isn't that good. Because, but that's normal. I mean, in the digital versions, we're always, always going to have a higher dynamic range in respect to uh, this analog versions. Okay, so at this point, let's check our last step, um, which is probably the most interesting. Yes. A copy of the original master tapes. I obtained this by a friend, so obviously I don't know what happened, what um, generation of copy this is from the original master tapes. Nevertheless, I bought a whole batch of tapes from this guy, and I must say they sound amazing. And I think these are pretty close to the true original master tapes, probably second or third generation, I don't know. As I said in other videos, every step, every generation, we lose one dB in the sound um, pressure in the dynamic range. So um, let's try to listen to money um, coming from this tape. This is a, a two track um, tape copy from the master and it's at a 15 inch per second speed. Let's listen. Okay, so let's take a look at the sound wave. Um, as we can see here, we have a good dynamic range. The decibels are slightly closer to zero as in other versions of the vinyl or the uh, digital versions. 
plus the frequency response is rather good, I must say. Um, actually, better than all the other ones, which was kind of expected. Although I was expecting even a higher frequency response. Again, I think we have a limitation re re related to the recording methods and how this was mastered by the equipment. Um, obviously, also, you have to remember this, all of these sound waves come from recording that I have from my Zoom TAC 2, which reaches uh, no, 50 kilohertz. So we're, we're pretty easy on that. Although we must keep in mind the other equipment I used to gather the sound. Those are not that high res. They don't reach that high frequency response. Hence, maybe we're having a limitation there from the CD player, for example, for CD and Super Audio CDs, reaches 30 kilohertz. I know that. Although we've seen they do not reach that frequency response. Um, I have an excellent tape, tape deck. I'm not going to talk about what I have because I'm going to do a video of a tour of my stuff. So I don't want to talk about what I have. Just trust me, I have very high quality equipment, the best in certain cases. Um, in this case, uh, the tape deck reaches also, it should reach uh, around 20, 22 kilohertz. That's normal for a good tape deck. We don't, we're not going to go very high. Um, uh, so the response of the cassette is pretty good, I think, uh, considering there's also some hiss there and other kind of floor noise. Um, uh, apart from that, overall, I think, in my opinion, that obviously the reel-to-reel -reel tape was incredible, is the best of the best. But very close, we have the ver tape version. Um, although I have a very good tape deck, we must say that. Um, and also the, uh, the vinyl editions were fantastic. Super Audio CD and CD were good and very close. That's amazing. I mean, the Super Audio CD does not surpass the CD, I think, not, at least not greatly. So at this point, let's try to listen all the tracks together. Give us your ideas, leave your suggestions uh, below here um, for other uh, tests and leave us obviously your comments on this, uh, this test. If you liked, what you liked more, what difference you heard. I know it's only one minute, um, but uh, obviously we have some issues, copyright issues with, um, uh, with YouTube. Plus, I don't have that much space online. We don't care having the whole song. We just need a piece to understand the, different, the differences. Okay then. That's the end. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Hope to see you soon. Bye.